Keep going, keep going. I don't have that much of these things left. <gasps> no! What the freak is that thing? Oh, man. Oh! You already know what time it is. It's time for more of The Witcher 3. It's been a little bit since we played, mostly because we had the Elden Ring uh, stream series start. We had Mass Effect uh, go in and replace Skyrim. You know, it's been a lot going on on the channel, and I couldn't be more grateful for all the support. Um, but I'm really excited to get back to The Witcher 3. We were on our way to Oxenfurt to meet the Baron's daughter, but we ended up getting distracted by what was going on at the Devil's Pit last time, and that was a great quest, and you guys were sure to let me know that there's even better still left in the game, so I'm pretty excited. So if you're excited and you enjoy The Witcher 3 and you want more <laughs> as quickly as possible, you already know what to do. Hit the like button for your boy. And of course, leave a comment for the algorithm. That really, really helps me out more than you know. Ah. What? Bro, you ran into my horse, bro. I, bro, you literally, you literally ran into me. These NPCs are freaking crazy, <laughs> bro. But again, if you guys want uh, to be notified for when The Witcher 3 comes out, again, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It will literally alert you every time I upload. So without further ado, this is The Witcher 3. Okay, it hasn't actually been that long since we played, but... You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, none of you can handle me. Am I just allowed to cross this? To get into Oxenford? Nobody's gonna stop me? Oh, I feel like I'm about to get stopped soon. Hello? Hello? Oh. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. Well, how about one of these? What kind of pass are we talking about? What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who's restricted access to the city? Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. I bet. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. Well, thankfully I've got a pass. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. Mm -hmm. Happens, so be it. You may come through. Okay, I was about to say, is he really not going to let us through because of that? That'd be really stupid. Several series such as cities, villages, and camps, the paths tend to be narrow. Obstacles numerous. For this reason, your maximum wind speed in these what? Who cares? Why does my movement speed need to be limited? Who cares? If I bump into stuff, who cares? Just make them say, ah, watch it, bozo. You're going to be tasting 12 inches of steel. Wow. But we're finally in another major city. It's been a long time coming, but we finally did it, guys. Okay. The notice board's all the way down there. I say we... Take a nice little stroll. It's beautiful at night too, by the way. Beautiful. Oh, is it a hair cuttery? A barber. Hello, Mr. Barber. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Uh, like a new haircut. Shaved except for a ponytail? Oh, long and loose. Shaved on the side, short on top. Wait, oh, shaved except for a ponytail, even the top? Ugh, no. Okay, let's do this one. Cool, I mean, that's basically kind of what I have, except for black people. <laughs> Style my beard. I want to be clean shaven, full beard, trimmed short, full beard, trimmed short. I mean, I guess we could do that. Hopefully it's not too terrible. Okay, yeah, that, that's basically what I had before. Just, you know, shorter, so long. <laughs> Gerald, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it looks like, yeah. Dang, my boy kind of looking clean, bro. Man, I think we should meditate and like, get it, you know, freaking bright in here. Dang, the graphics are just looking like, <laughs> the graphics is graphic in today. I know we're like six minutes in and we ain't did nothing yet, but still. Ooh, the sooner our lads beat the black ones, the 
beat the who ones? Ugh, everybody's like always coughing and crap in this game. Okay. Beware of trolls. Uh oh. Beast in Oxenford Forest. Dude, I know we gotta do main story, but man, I wanna freaking <laughs> I wanna do some of these things. I want I wanna fight some stuff right now. Beware of trolls. Caution, a troll's been seen and heard to the east of Oxenford on the left bank of the Pontar. Said troll has been known to sing Redanian marching tune. Uh, it is suspected to be this as part of some Nilfgaardian diversion tactic. He's recommended that this area be avoided until the appropriate branch of His Majesty's services can take care of the problem. In the event that an encounter with a troll is recommended to remain immobile, keeping low to the ground and covering one's head with arms. There's an existence of chance that the beast will not then attack, for it will make, mistake the potential victim thus situated for a rock. Okay, I bet it will. Uh, Monster in Oxenford. By orders of our most mag uh, magnanimous ruler, King Radovid V, any itinerant monster slayer reading this notice is obliged to uh, abandon any currently unresolved contracts immediately and devote himself to tracking and slaying this monster. The beast in question has befouled the cradle of human intellect, the city within whose territory lies the oldest of academies learning, namely Oxenford. The swordsman who puts an end to its criminal doings will be regarded, uh, rewarded with the king's full generosity. Okay. Beast in Oxenford Forest. If you know no fear and seek work, read this notice for all the call contained therein will be great interest to you. Hands of Sidor Sidaris, soldier of fortune and veteran of many wars, hereby makes known the following. Being greatly concerned about the fate of the local peasantry, which suffers horribly from attacks of some monster nesting in the near, uh, forest near Oxenford, I have decided to grant a, a purse of Novigrad coins uh, crowns to the man who slays the beast. Yet may it be known that any man who comes to, uh, to me without a trophy shall receive no gold, but instead shall be tossed out on his behind so hard he shan't sit again until the end of his days. Okay. Uh, attention, countrymen, don't get taken in by the platitudes of false prophecies dealt in by a certain so called soothsayer dwelling in uh, Ben Kilham. This man calls himself a sage, but knows mu as much about divining the future as any toothless village hag. All he truly cares about is extracting coin from the unwary. Don't let him cheat you, it'll only encourage him. Okay. And this is you gotta play good. Beat everyone you've ever played in Gwent. Consider yourself a prime player, uh, ready to face the best of the best, then try your hand against St Stegepan. A man so good it seems the cards play themselves. To learn more, come to the Al Alchemy Inn in uh, Oxenford. Okay. Well, it seems like we got a lot. Hello. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? You don't believe me? Moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Okay, I'm glad he trusts at least. Did they ever say how long she's been gone? What's wrong? You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. I don't blame you. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Tell me your side of the story. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war. I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Dang. Finally, we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. 
What happened to your mother? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. Fire? And that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Hmm. I don't want to say why is your mother miscarry. It's obvious why, and I know some people might want me to click that option, but I'm, I, I, we know why. We, like, they spelt it out for us. What are you going to do now? What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends? Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? Uh oh. A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Mm, the Baron's desperate. Who are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Good. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. I mean, you, you just said that, didn't you? The Baron's desperate. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. He's right. Where will you take her? Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Oh, yeah. you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. What's it with this cat? Nibbles? What's good, Nibbles? What's good, my Nibbles? What's, what's good? I don't mind. Ooh, whoa, there's a lot to... Excuse me, uh, excuse me. All is prepared. We await only your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment and zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at once. At first, you will put, uh, be put through the preliminary training, but you already know how to ride and wield a blade, thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much. As, as you, soon as you don our colors, we will set out in search of your mother, and we will find her. I promise, even if we have to comb every inch of Velen. Okay. All right, buddy. I got some news for you. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? <laughs> Let's play Gwent. Gave your daughter the doll. Gave Tamara your gift. 
How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Dang. So long. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I probably should have come back when I did everything, but I, I, I didn't know really where to look. Now, yeah, like, where the freak are we supposed to look? We have this on, but I have no idea where I'm supposed to look regarding this. I guess I'll have to just put the quest away for the time being. Maybe you guys can give me some tips on where to look next and stuff, because as far as I'm aware, I don't really know what random forest to look in. It could have been in this one for all I know, but she still ended up all the way in Oxenfurt. So it could have been this forest. It could have been that one. You know, I, I, I don't know which one it could have been, but I guess we'll see for now. I guess we'll go ahead and switch to the ladies of the wood. Now we can go find the crones of Crookback Bog. Uh, this one is probably where? Oh, here. Uh, so we can teleport to Dragon Slayer Grotto and then make our way down. Okay. So I ended up fast traveling to the Dragon Slayer Grotto, but I'm going to be real. I don't remember this at all. I don't remember it coming here to get this teleport place. Oh, crap. I don't know if I can come back. What? What the freak is that? <gasps> Oh, whoa, Wraith. Ow. Back off. Okay. Drop some good stuff, though. What the freak? Okay. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to lock on because... Go. Let him trip me up. You guys are not hard. Oh yeah, I guess we can also try the cat potion. Ew. Cause it's getting kind of hard to see so okay so we go and boom now it's a lot easier to see it's kind of grayscaled whoa that was a lot of loot something above okay this is where I first came in from. Was there not another way forward? There was. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's check here first. Swing twice. Boom. Bam. Bop. He didn't hit me once just then. That was weird. It looked like he did, but I didn't get hit. Crap. I can't move. <sighs> okay. Go. I feel like I've I've kind of forgotten some of the controls of this game. It's weird, it hasn't been that long since I played, but... Hmm. 
We need to get through this. It, honestly, we need to just run. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dang. Nah, they... Oh. Crap. Dang, that sucks. I don't remember what the last save I had was either. Dang. Went a lot better this time. I didn't really get hit that much. I think I still end up using a, a swallow though. Okay. I went this way first this time. Also, I, I do see that. Okay. Well, now, what is this? I have no idea what that is. I, I guess we're just going to ignore it for now. I know we're supposed to be doing something else, but you guys got to give it. You guys gotta, gotta, gotta give me this. Now, I, I was wondering if the golden Oriole would protect me. Okay, I wonder if it'll protect me against the poison. Wait, am I actually already in the poison area? No, 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 I'm not. It's behind the wall. I didn't notice there was a woman there before. It does protect me against it. Ow! He's still coughing. Whoa. There we go. Okay, I have the golden Oreo. Does that... No, I don't take damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, the golden Oreo does protect me. Time to end this. Okay. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I don't have that much of these things left. <gasps> no! Oh, we're through it. Oh, dude, if if I just blew myself up, dude, I probably would have hated everything. What the freak was that? Ow. Got greedy. Got greedy. Oh. Dang. His combos are irregular. Oh, am I in, uh, intoxicated? Uh, inventory. Okay, well, I, it's not that bad, actually. Hmm. Come on. Oh, so he actually becomes invulnerable during that state. So he goes again. Are you going to go again? Nope. Nope. <laughs> what the freak happened there? Sometimes the way the the lighting works in this game, sometimes I feel like I can see less uh, when I turn on those lights sometimes. Griffin school gear. A lot of stuff. Somebody's definitely living down here. Wait, okay, so these are the diagrams for like the Griffin uh, school stuff. So what was that monster down there? I kind of didn't. Now in his eye, ought to use it. 
Oh, okay. Okay, a nice little mini dungeon then. Hello? Ooh, bugs. There's something big flying over there. Man. I think that's my problem with some of these games. Sometimes I, I plan to do one thing and I just end up doing everything else on the planet besides what I set out to originally do. I'm scaling some mountain. Oh, place of power. Where is, oh, up there. Here we go, we did it. Place of power, should draw from it. What's that? Enhanced saddle. Hold the draw. Gained one ability point. Erdin sign in intensity increased, okay. Woohoo, what is that? I saw that. Someone's strutting his stuff over there. Uh, maybe I'm just kidding. Maybe, 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 maybe I, I'm tripping. No, there's definitely something over there. Is it a tree? Is, is that a tree I'm seeing? I hope it's a tree. No, what the freak is that thing? Oh, man. Oh! Wait, why are you crouched like that? Wait, what did it say? It was a lesson? Oh, man. He's not too bad. Oh! He's not really a, he, attacking me too much. Oh, nope. Sometimes I feel like he's gonna like try to backhand me, but he never does. Okay. Stuff keep jumping like that. Fire monster gun, mushroom resin. That wasn't that bad at all, honestly. I assume he's one of those enemies that, like, yeah, he might be level 20, but it's only because of the area he's in. Er, don't want to deal with those guys. Is it like only like look scary because of that, or because he's like a unique monster? Other than that, he's just kind of pathetic still. Dude, I love these woods, man. Like, I like the the standard force we've had up to this point, but man, seeing this. Man, this feels like a real forest, the type of forest like, you know, I, I, I thought of when I was freaking writing like little stories in my, you know, my, my notebook as a kid. I keep seeing these little statues of different kinds. This, this one looks like it's kind of messed up. Oh, is this another one of those? Are those cookies? Why would somebody put cookies on top of that? Ladies of the wood. Oh, this is. Oh, that's what we were supposed to do. The trail of treats. OK, I forgot. I forgot. OK, follow with your witcher senses. OK. It looks like you don't have to investigate it. Let's follow these trails of treats this way, this way, this way. It's basically just the path in the road. So am I going to get jumped out here? I don't think so. It's very lovely here. I, I enjoy how this looks a lot. The Honestly, the art style of this game made it really age well. 
That's why I always say, you know, artistic direction is more important than, you know, graphical fidelity. I do think there's a nice balance you can find of both. But honestly, when graphical fidelity is starting to make, you know, your game not run well or honestly starts looking too generic after a while, realistic does not always mean great. You know, and I think this is a game is another perfect example of that. The graphics are good, but it doesn't look like it's real. Stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them, oh. had him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. What's One, wrong with two, you people? Three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. I'd be so scared. Go away. What are you doing in the swamp? What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. Looking for a witch. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. Dang. He'll still come back. I'm gonna be real, homie. He's not coming back. Ever seen an ashen haired woman around here? A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, lassie. Lassie's got tits. Dang. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's, That's crazy. The girl is in trouble. You live here alone? They just said they live with Gran. This uh, this girl is in trouble. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. <laughs> Who's Johnny? You take care of the kids? You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Are you a witch? Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Which? Me? She yeah. just she's just old, no bro. <laughs> no, no. Not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch Bro. your language. <laughs> they tell tales and tales, naught but tales. I'm looking for someone. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. <laughs> Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Please help me. A bit of help, please. A young ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You Dang. Be gone. Be gone. What was that interaction? 
Didn't you all just go inside? And... Whoa, a fighter. Yes, yes, I know I'm great. Are we really a talk? Oh, talk to the boy. Which one? Oh, the boy that can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and stranger still kids. Where can I find this Johnny? Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. What's wrong with these people? Find a way to lure Gran away from the hut. I'm about to steal all y'all got now. Y'all ain't having no dinner tonight. That's my dinner. <laughs> y'all thought y'all was about to eat tonight, bro? That's mine. That's why y'all sleeping on the dirt. And I'm taking no fire. Ain't nobody having no thing, bro. Buy a new candle. Actually, I did get a new uh, saddle, by the way. Kind of wondering if that saddle is uh, good. Hmm. Is it better than what I got? Hold up. Nope. It's definitely not better than what I got. Okay. Um, who's going to be the one I ask? Hmm. Who can get themselves in trouble? Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Your friend's not allowed to go in the woods, why? The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails, yuck. Ew. And like, just raw? Like, you pick him up and eat it? Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us and we'll disappear. Have you ever seen Johnny? Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. That's weird. Help me out. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right. But you gotta do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't there something else you want? Nah, fine. We're gonna play some freaking hide Let's and play. seek. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking. And you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two... Three, <laughs> eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Bro, I just seen you, bro. I'm absolutely gonna cheat. Where's the Witcher senses, dude? Don't don't tell me these kids are invulnerable to the Witcher senses, bro. That'd be kind of crazy. I'm taking that. Uh, can I can I climb this? No. Can't. Is there another way up? See you. Come out. Dang. Found me. Okay, that's one. Okay, I don't think this is supposed to be the oh lock. He definitely went up here. Can I? Okay, there we go. Get ourselves up there. Huh, okay, he went down. He fell off. Oh, he there fell in there. Are. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a pretty good hiding spot. Cause I, I wrapped around and I didn't see him. 
Okay. Where are these other kids? Hey, there is a teleport thing over there. Uh. Hmm. It wouldn't be too far out here. I'm gonna be real. I would not want to play out here. I feel like any with drowners and crap in this world. I feel like none of these dudes would easily just run up on me and no one ever hear from me again. Found you. Oh, what? Well, you can stop hiding. No fair. I'm supposed to win. You don't get to win, unfortunately. That's life. Honestly, I feel like most of the time I've literally just run into these kids. I haven't actually found them. I just kind of ran into them. Okay. We kind of. Okay, these are the ones that that have already been found. I can't vault. Okay. Oh yeah, I found her already. All right, the rest have got to be closer to the center now, then. I did a whole go around. Some of you guys got to be hiding in plain sight. And y'all better... N oh, you went inside a house? That's not fair. You are not hiding, bro. Found you. Every last one. But you found me last. Let's go back to the cottage. Can we tell him I let you find me? Oh my gosh. No. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Oh no. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Okay, good. Get the freak out of here. That you care about your grandkids. Let me care about my Don't daughter. Be Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. You got scolded. And told me. Told Where's to. Gran? She's busy. Where are your parents? Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad. Some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? And then my mom. It's I get it. I, yeah, enough. I I get it. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking. I saw his burrow, but burrow. Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where's Johnny? I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I just want to find my daughter, man. I'm not going to hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Okay, now she's going to come in and thank you. get on me. Right, I'm still taking all of your stuff because you gave me a hard time and I had to play hide and seek. Maybe I should leave out the other door. Ugly word. <laughs> I like that. I like that. 
Okay. Now we gotta look for Johnny in the swamp. Dude, you you have these kids. You're like literally, they're like a hundred feet away, bro. You got kids out here when these guys are out here being crazy. Oh, there's a hag. Ow. Okay, okay. Whoa, what's this song? <laughs> Come on, let me kill the drowner. Dude, never heard this song. They definitely expected me to get into this fight here. Okay. Did not mean to inspect that. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. So is Johnny supposed to be a kid? They said Johnny looked li just like him, right? Wait, what? What is it? How is that possible? she let a kid come out here so i don't think something's weird about johnny's appearance and she also knows johnny exists because she liked hearing his songs right why is why do some kind of branch off in this direction unless he he did something yeah he walked towards this way then came back here all right another group of drowners coming up let me hit that f5 what a time to be alive This way. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Well, call Johnny. Johnny? I don't see him. Oh. Oh. Don't be afraid. Hey, little guy. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Scared? Why not? Oh, he's mute. You know the kids from the clearing well? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not going to hurt anyone. You you got to know what goes on around here. This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? Well, you're a monster to you. You can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Is it a curse or a spell or something?
I don't understand. Try to explain. I mean, he just wants me to follow him. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to protect him. Unless Johnny wants to fight, too. Oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to fight. Damn it. Got greedy. I'm getting greedy. Don't ever turn your back to me. Honestly, I kind of want to meditate real quick. Sorry, Johnny. I got you waiting like almost 24 hours. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Stay close to me. Oh, yeah. Actually, we also have a, a point. You guys told me I can upgrade my my stuff, too. You, I think you guys also said I can fuse these these red things together. I don't I don't know how to do that, but I'll, I'll try. Um, I don't know if I can upgrade these. I can only upgrade these kind. Yeah, I. I Wait. Well, how do I how do I actually upgrade it? Oh, right there. Upgrade ability. What's this one? Resolve. Hmm. What else do I have on? Oh, I need to focus on the red ones. Focus on the red ones. Yeah, fast attack damage, baby. Let's go. Lightning reflexes. All right. Now I know that we can upgrade this stuff. Let's go, Johnny. Let's go. Wait. Wait. Uh, I was like, why is this barrel here? I was like, is this something I can clean up? I thought it might be one of the statues. Drowner. You like that silver? Ow, ow. Dude, I love the battle music now. Hey, buddy. I, I noticed that a habit I get into is that when I when I think a fight isn't difficult or you know or whatever i tend to get sloppy sometimes mostly because it's like bro this ain't a big deal you know okay oh well, it looks to be everything around here let's meditate just to actually i'm gonna swallow heal up and then meditate apologies johnny this the place? Let me look around. Nest? Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Huh. What took his voice? Is it like some kind of mythological creature? Yes, I, I gotta make this climb. Is, is that why he has a scar on his mouth there? Hmm. All right, Johnny, you stay there. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 I see that. Is that what I got a freaking fight? Oh, shoot, dude. F5. I bet you that might not even be it, but. Yeah, something's telling me. There we go. That other enemy isn't aggroed right now. 
I hope. No. Sometimes I need to lock on. There we go. There we go. Was it really the harpies? Something. Yeah, I have a feeling I know what's about to happen now. Maybe he meant this bottle. Okay. It's kind of weird for this thing to be here. Low key, I kind of want to fight it. A wyvern. Okay, yeah, this is his nest. Uh, are you good? Oh, wow. I lived. It, I feel like its AI is broken. Oh crap, I can't talk to Johnny now. Can I not look at it, please? Okay, there it goes. Now please let me talk to Johnny real quick. There. Here. Peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. <laughs> My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. How do you bottle someone's voice? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Why did you lose your voice? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do mm. I look like a smudger to you? Not no. a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? You're talking about the the, that the grand. Mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle. Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. Looking for a young ashen-haired woman. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke. I went to empty my bowels, my favorite part of the day. All right. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. We get it. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. The woman from the village in the swamp, who is she? I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> I like Johnny. Know anything about the crones? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. 
cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. So she went off towards the village. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay, this, I have a feeling this might not go that well. Come on, Johnny. Let's go. I already cleared the way, so we should be able to get there fine. Unless you got a new route with new enemies to cross. You definitely got a new way. You you love going towards the drowners, don't Watch you? Out. Yeah, it's a hag too. Ah. Ah. Ow, I went to scratch for a second. Stop doing that other attack. That's what you want. All right, come on, Johnny. That's Mosey. Hmm. Actually, can you can we get inside that old hut here? Can we get inside this? Doesn't look like there's an entrance on any side. I didn't see it coming up. It's just set dressing for the environment. Oh, there's soldiers here. No, my regular walking speed's faster than you. What? You don't want to walk in the, the bog. You want to live here so bad. Come on, Johnny. It's Mosey. All right, this is not going to go well. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Wait, what? Huh? So... Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. The crones mess, mess with her head? And whispered, listen, I'm a tale. You, I got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. You. Leave me to the crones. Can you take me to the crones? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, she well, wouldn't have heard you. I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Let's hope. Thanks, Johnny. I'll get home safe. Are you going to casually say Johnny doesn't exist when we've all seen him? 
That's like saying Luke across the street doesn't exist. Like, homie, no, I, I know where he lives. He's been here. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Thought we were dealing with some old people. Ladies, lovely. With power over all. Oh, we summon them? Answer my call. Before you, a worm crawls, wretched and small. I like the new haircut on Geralt. Took a little bit to get used to, but I'm starting to get used to it now. Mm. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? They speak through you. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I wanted to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. Oh, <laughs> she's like a daughter to me. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> there are many things wrong with that, that question. Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. Oh, man. What's happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. He's always got to do stuff for people. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need a dagger? A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. Okay. It's a deal. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one. Return only once you've completed the task. That was trippy. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. I see why she didn't want to talk to them. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Damn, like she was about to run up on me with it. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Okay, that is crazy. Oh, hey, we leveled up. Cool. Honestly, my fast basic strikes. Like, yeah, I want to, I want to upgrade those, but like, imagine upgrading this a third time, you know, that's kind of crazy. It's now as high as it can go though. Cool. This can go up to three as well. Okay, cool. I mean, looking forward to getting some more stuff. Whirl is one everybody tells me, oh, it's so great. You need this one. Okay. I could have honestly been had it if I didn't unlock so much stuff in other branches. 
Oh, I actually have another thing here that I can do. So. Hmm. So these are like orange or something or gold. I'm kind of wondering what can I use to, to work those. Uh, I mean, vitality plus 50, it's kind of mid, don't you think? It doesn't seem like I have what I need for that though. Hmm. I could just get the attack power up even higher. Honestly, that's probably why I'm doing as good as I am. But I don't mind more HP. I don't I don't mind it at all. So uh, I need to be level 10 for this next one. That's going to be good. That'd be good. All right. Anything I can loot? Oh, I'd hate to steal from you mistresses, but I'll take this all. At, oh. Uh oh. Don't mind me. What y'all got going on down here? Like these are dead bodies. Like what's going down down here? You not let the kids over here, I hope. Am I stuck? Give me all that. Give me all that. All that. Are we Jump. Just like the the hooks episode of SpongeBob. The hooks. Hey. Okay. Don't mind me. No, I didn't want to go back down. Whatever. I know there was something behind there, but who cares? Dang. I doubt whatever I'm missing out on didn't you know, have stuff like that. Ran, you making a mess over here? You making a mess over here, Gran? You ought not to be here. Actually, I belong here, unlike you. Hey, I did it. You must be coming home Whoa. for more. Got a Dude, sounds turn. a stranger doing and a wolf here. Burned his neck. Bro, I played hide and seek with you all. I thought we bonded. Is Johnny still back here? Now homeboy's gone. Hmm. Actually, do we have a teleport on this? No, we don't. Hmm. I could have sworn there was something, but no, I guess we just gotta continue. Well, actually, it might honestly be quicker to... Hmm. Whatever. We got Roach. Take me, my loyal steed. Let's go. I feel at first I was kind of like, dang, oh, that was the smoke. At first I was kind of feeling like we didn't do too much in this episode, but now I feel better. Oh, these are bandits. I love this area's music. Don't let him catch his breath. Instead of rubbing your gun, fight. Don't flail your skin off. What? Lost oh. your nerve? Oh, man. All right, where were we, Roach? I appreciate your patience, buddy. I appreciate your patience. Sometimes your boy just has to, uh... What the freak is that? Downtrodden. We're already here. Well, uh... Ooh. Yeah. Sorry.
Hello? It's just a, a natural, regular town. That, that got side quests and everything in it. Okay. A lot of people in this little town. It must be just a family town because it's like two, four places. Why are you all saying ouch? Eldermen. What's bothering the villagers? Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Glad we understand each other. So you know who sent me. Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Sure. Who drove Back. off the plaguey airs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Ever seen them? Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day, I too will be summoned. A certain young woman visited the ladies of the wood. You hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. Beg your question to the ladies, and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once a swineherd lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Dang. Let's get to the problem. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree, I just went through that woman. They lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. How long has it been like this? When did all this start? Three years back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. More details. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The mm. ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. I'll look around. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't you treat this evil light. Okay. How far is that? Uh, kind of far. Kind of far. Hmm. I think we'll actually end it here, mostly just because uh, I got to edit this and I still have to record more stuff today. So I think, hold up, this, 
<laughs> it just works. It just works. Todd Howard, that's how it works. <laughs> this isn't Skyrim. What am I saying? All right. I think that's going to be it uh, for me today. I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was neat getting more into the mystical nature of things in this episode. I really like Johnny. He was a neat new character who's definitely full of himself, but he, he's, a, he's a nice guy. He, he really uh, went uh, out there for your boy and paid paid my kindness back in full. So I do appreciate that. It seems like next episode, we're going to take another leap forward in finding Siri. So that's pretty cool. I know we for in terms of main quest lines, we still have, uh, you know, this one. I do hope you guys are able to help me with this. Um, so I know. in so we have to actually before this one can kind of continue, we do have to find out if she's in Velen or in Novigrad. Um, and right now we're both handling Velen stuff. And this will, I guess, be Novigrad stuff that can help us get a little bit closer to that. I definitely don't want to do this freaking story mode thing yet. But if they say recommended level for this DLC is 32, that tells me about where you should end this game at. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this and you want to be notified for when more comes out, subscribe to the channel. It really does help your boy out. And of course, liking the video and leaving a comment also really helps it out in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much. We're nearing our goal of 50,000 subscribers uh, by the end of summer. So I, you know, I, I definitely think we can do this with you guys' help, especially. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Keenan Maze. Remember everyone to play some games, have some fun and enjoy your day today.